New at 10 since the horrific school shooting in Parkland, Florida, unfounded threats against schools across the country and in our area have been popping up. The consequences severe. A suburban student arrested for a recent social media post is talking to CBS 2's Charlie DeMar. I mean, no harm. I mean, no threat. But Mundelein police did take Juan Bello's social media post as a very serious threat, arresting the 18 year old and a minor, both students at Mundelein High. I learned my lesson and I really regret what I did. I, if I knew the consequences it would have given me, I would have thought it through and, like, not done something like that. The weekend Snapchat post allegedly threatened Mundelein High School. District leaders say the post showed a hand holding a gun with the message, Mundelein ain't ready for this, prompting a visible police presence and tighter security Monday. In some ways, a learning opportunity. My client never had the intention of doing that, never wanted to harm anyone, never intended on being a mass shooter. Bellos attorney Gloria Schmidt says her client did not create the post, acknowledging that he did share it, then quickly deleted it with an apology. Hopefully people walk away from this knowing that there are consequences. <laughs> This comes less than two weeks after the mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida. Since then, there have been at least a dozen unfounded threats to schools and universities in the Chicago area and countless more across the country. I am so remorseful. I wish I can go back and take it all back. Would you do it again? No, never, ever. And Mundelein police telling me tonight that the gun seen in that post was fake and that the two students never had an actual plan to carry out any kind of attack. Juan did bond out of jail earlier this afternoon and will be back in court in March. Live at the control room tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob. All right, sign of the times, Charlie. Thank you.